It's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Mark from the States. How are we doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Happy Easter. You may see this video after Easter, but as of this recording, it is Easter, and I hope you are all having a tremendous and wonderful day, spending time with family and friends and doing your Easter egg hunts if you do such things. We don't have young children anymore, so we don't we don't get to do that, but... Uh, we are, uh, did go to church this morning um, to uh, celebrate Easter. We do that maybe, you know, we do that at least once a year. We don't generally are avid churchgoers, but uh, we do like to go on the big days, of course. Uh, my niece is a singer at the church we go to, so we, she puts on a big singing performance. So uh, we do like to go watch her, and, and uh, it's really entertaining, so it's fun. Uh, going to dinner tonight at my mom's house, which is always fun. And, of course, going to probably have some wine, <laughs> which I love. So hopefully all of you have had or did have a wonderful day. Um, today's a special day. I've gotten some packages. And I do get packages, not regularly, by any means. But uh, I have gotten packages before, but generally they're... Uh, requested not to uh, go on camera they're just for me and to, for me to enjoy it. and they have been just absolutely awesome and for all of those who have sent packages thank you so much if you are interested which is certainly not a requirement to be a part of this community uh, on this channel um, the PO boxes uh, address is in the description of every video um, this was stemmed because I did that video on how Hershey's chocolate is hated by all of you <laughs> and how you all think it tastes like vomit. Well, uh, I haven't had authentic English chocolate or European chocolate for that matter. Um, and that I should know, you know, it's a big difference. And so I just made a comment that it, I've never had it. I think I've had Cadbury's here, but it's a lot of you said that is made by Hershey's or it's owned by Hershey's, so it's made the American way, the the American version of Cadbury. So I'm uh, excited to try some of these. If the if these packages are indeed what they are, um, what I think they are, I'm going to probably gain some more weight. So that's always good. <laughs> anyway, um, if I try to... I will like to, to acknowledge who sent me the package. All three of these have said okay. Um, so I will give first names only, of course. Um, one of them uh, actually did not, whether or not it was first name or not. So I'm just going to give the screen name because that is what it, they go by. Okay? All right. Here we go. I don't, this is actually kind of like the first time I've ever done something like this. So uh, bear with me if it's kind of wonky. So the first package we have is uh, Lynn. And here's the thing, I have two Lynn's today. So you'll know who you are uh, based on what I'm opening here. So uh, the, I already took the liberty because the package was kind of ripped. So I kind of took the liberty of just kind of cutting it further open so it'd be easier to open on, on camera. So. Of course, I'm reaching my hand in there, and it is exactly what I imagine. Uh, it's almost like you knew I'm a huge dark chocolate fan. Uh, love dark chocolate, so I'm excited to try this. Bourneville. Cat, it's by Cla uh, Cadbury. Bourneville, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. So I am, I am going to bust into this for sure. Uh, the next one. Ooh. Dairy, milk, fruit, and nut. Never had this. Is this a popular uh, version? Never had fruit and nut uh, chocolate. Um, the classic creamy taste, also by Cadbury. Very cool. Thank you, Lynn, so much. It's just so generous of you. Um, aw, and a uh, happy Easter card. Aw. 
Uh, she says, hoping for many more hours on the couch. And, of course, you're always welcome um, on the couch, as, as all of you are. And I appreciate that, and that is going to go up behind me, for sure. Um, should I try some of this chocolate right now? We should try some of this chocolate. I want to try this dark chocolate, because I love dark chocolate. So if you can just bear with the, the crackling noises of chocolate being opened... And luckily, in transit, it has been broken into pieces, so that makes it really easy for me to try. <laughs> Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, I need to get some milk. Oh, that was good. So, yeah, I should have... I should have... Thank you. <laughs> I should have got some Hershey's so I could have a taste test with it, but I don't want to ruin the palate with that awful Hershey's. Mmm. Wow. That is good. Mm. I'm so sorry. You did not watch this video to watch me eat. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Lynn. I appreciate you so much. Mm. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I'm alone here, but I like to have my chocolate frozen. And so generally I'll buy chocolate and I'll throw it right in the freezer. Because I love cold, crunchy chocolate. Does that make sense? Or is that weird? Um, so those are definitely going to go into the freezer for sure um before i move on i also want to say thanks to gavin uh he sent me a super thanks which is something that's fairly new to me it was uh, i found out last month or a month or two ago that they've added to all the channels you can there's a, a button you can click and you can donate to the channel it's called super thanks didn't even know it was there until um had donated money, and uh, uh, so Gavin sent me a super thanks. So thank you, Gavin. I appreciate you. I just wanted to acknowledge you. Um, this next one is from, uh, well, the screen name is Coot, C-O-O-T, Coot. Um, it's got his real name on here, so I'll, I'll keep that blocked off. I don't want you to see that. And I'm excited to see... What he sent me, I can just kind of tell by the rattling sound. Oh my God. Ugh. What? Okay. This one is Kit Kat Chunky Duo. Now, I've never seen this. Now, I we have Kit Kat bars, obviously. Nestle, obviously, is... Uh, this is a Nestle that's made in your neck of the woods. I love Kit Kat. This is chunky, so I'm assuming it's bigger. feels bigger. I am excited to see this. I love Kit Kat. And I'm going to hide this from my son because, because he loves Kit Kat as well. Thank you for that. Next one. Oh, there's several of them in here. Holy moly. Oh, boy. Look at this. Cadbury Dairy Milk. Um, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> this is going to be good. So this is the, uh, I may have to just try that right now too. Um, this is the regular, uh, not the dark, but the regular and dairy milk. Cadbury's. Mm, very good. And here we go. Uh, what is this? Are these like uh, malt teasers? Are these like malt balls? We have a thing over here called Whoppers, which I absolutely love. I used to love Whoppers, which were malt balls. That's what these look like, are uh, malt balls. How awesome. Hey, baby. Hi. Very cool. Thank you so much. 
Um, yeah, they look just like Whoppers. I'm gonna, jeez, I'm probably gonna have to try those too. Those look, those look good. I'm gonna have to get some milk, I believe. But thank you so much, Coot. I appreciate you for doing that. That is so cool. Uh, let's see here. Now, this next one. It's from Lynn. And uh, she brought or sent. Oh, excuse me. This huge box. Huge box. I'm going to have to make room. I don't have enough room on this desk for everything that Lynn sent. So we're here we go. We're just going to kind of move some things out of the way here. Of course, I'll probably edit out a lot of the, the noisy business, but uh, get out some scissors here. You want to try any of this chocolate? Not right now. Okay. I don't know if you can see the box here. It's 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 pretty big, and uh, yep yep yep, it's pretty big. So there's a lot of things in here, a lot. Um, okay, first thing we got here is a uh, oh cool, um, it's a uh, little uh, R N L I right the the life lifeboat service little uh, toy boat here i guess severin class that's cool very ah. cool and this is of course we did that video on the uh rnl rnli um lifeboat rescue and that was really intense very cool oh here we go this looks like a cat toy Look, my cats are gonna love this. Violet. She's asleep on the bed. No, she's on that table over there. Oh, she left me. Yeah, well, you got up, so now she wants to get up too. Leo. Hmm. We'll see. They're gonna probably fight over that for sure. The next one. Holy moly, Lynn. What the heck? Okay. As you can see, it's a bag full of chocolate. Uh, again, another one of these uh, Kit Kats that must be... Are they are, are these popular over there? Um, this is peanut butter. Mmm, never had that. That should be cool. Never heard of this before. This is a peppermint arrow. Arrow. Delightful Peppermint. Also by Nestle. Interesting. Okay, I've heard about these, and I, I do want to try one of these. This is a Galaxy Bar. Smooth Milk. Oh, boy. I'm going to be putting on the weight. Oh, yes. Dairy Milk. Chocolate with caramel. That is awesome. Oh, this is funky. Um, this is your version of Milky Way. It's completely different packaging than what we have. That is so cool. I love the American Milky Way, but we'll see if that... I'm going to have to get a, an actual Milky Way. And that way I can taste them and see if they do taste really different. Ooh. Okay. Fries. Let me get my stubby fingers out of the way. Fries chocolate cream. Wow. Very cool. Thank you so much. And the bag just, I mean, look, there's still tons more in here. Picnic? Is that what this is? Picnic? What is this? Multi pack bar. Cat. It's made by Cadbury. Contains peanuts. Okay. So it looks like a chocolate peanut. Is there even chocolate in this? Is there raisins? What is that? Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna eat it. 
what is this? This is a curly whirly. Yeah, my wife just walked by and she's eyeballing all my chocolate. I'm gonna have to hide it. Curly whirly. Also made by Cadbury. Interesting. Curly, I love the name, Curly Whirly. It feels, well, I'm not going to feel these. I'm going to actually eat them and see what's going on. And then, of course, another uh, classic creamy chocolate bar, the, the Cadbury. So thank you so much. This is going to be so good. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have like a taste test here. Um, which one do I want to try, though? I do want to try... Uh, well, let me get through through this first, and then I will then I will try the chocolate because I don't want to pick up. You guys, like I said, you guys don't want to watch me eat. There's so much in here, Lynn. This is incredible. This is wow. <laughs> okay, super noodles, super noodles. Do we know? Uh, so barbecue beef flavor. The nation's favorite. Okay, so it's like what we have called cup of noodles. And it's just you add hot water to it and then throw in the seasoning. I used to live off stuff like this in college. All college kids on their budget live off of stuff like this. They, you can get this stuff for like boxes of them and stuff you can live on. It's really good. What do we got here? Uh-uh. Mr. Kipling, two sponge pudding, uh, sticky lemon. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Very cool. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it had a rough travel over here. A lot of these things are, the boxes are moved around. This is Terry's Chocolate. Can you see that? Orange, Terry's chocolate orange. Oh man, made with real orange oil. Okay. Wow, that is so cool. Just food after food after food and more food. Oh, Lynn, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get this on camera here. Um, if you can see it. Tesco Cherry Bakewell Tarts. I don't know if I've ever had a tart. Whew. Almond flavor sponge layered with jam and iced for a sweet treat. I can throw a serious holiday sweet party right now with all the stuff that I'm getting here. This is incredible. I'm trying to pull out all the food first. Here's some, what you would call crisps. I call chips. Uh, Thai sweet chili. Uh, get my fingers out of the way. Going the wrong way here, Mark. Flavored potato crisps. Walkers. Now, walkers, is that the same as Lay's? Because they generally have the kind of the same logo. Uh, the company we have here in the States is called Lay's. And they do potato chips, right? Um, okay. Oh. You're going to have to roll me on out of here. Milk, chocolate, chai digestives crumbly and crunchy milk chocolate digestives what also by tesco say we did the uh, sweet tarts it's over here the bakewell tarts sweet chocolate digestives that's what an odd name but they look really good what, what would these be? Just like cookies, I guess? Generously dipped in silky chocolate for a dunkable 
treat. Ooh, so you can dunk them in a glass of milk? Mmm, or are you talking about coffee or tea? Ooh, that's, that's a good question right there. I'm gonna have to try them with both. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta put this down. It's never ending, I'm running out of room up here. Cadbury mini rolls. 10 pack, I'm rich and famous, it says. Milk chocolate, so these remind me of what we have called, I think they're called Ho-Ho's, maybe? This is kind of a sponge cake that's covered in chocolate, almost like a chocodile, in a sense. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room here. This is unreal. Okay, some more noodles. Um, this is a uh, mild curry flavor. Mild curry flavor. <laughs> We've gotta try them. Gotta try them. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I love me some baked beans. I really do. Branson baked beans in a rich, thick tomatoey sauce. So maybe not the same as our baked beans, but yes, going to try these for sure. I love those. Okay, the next one here. It's in a little plastic bag here. I'm going to take the bag off. Ambrosia Devon Custard. Creamy and delicious. Ambrosia Devon Custard. So it obviously didn't need to be refrigerated. West Country. Made with West Country milk. Now, is the West Country famous for their dairy? Very cool. Yeah, I mean, look at, this is un unbelievable here. I'm, it looks like a, a grocery store on my desk. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see here. Oh, of course. Of course, thank you so much. Yorkshire tea. Uh, I've never been a big tea guy. You generally, when I'm sick, I drink a lot of tea, but um, I'm going to have to just try it, of course. Yorkshire tea. Hmm. It's been, uh, it's outstanding tea since 1886. And that's a long time to be an outstanding tea. And this Yorkshire tea has been. That's great. Okay, what do we got? Oh, she told me about this. She did give me a, a clue what she was sending. And uh, and, it, and for the record, I should, I should mention, because she wanted me to mention this too, it took three weeks from the time she mailed it to the time it got me, three weeks. So not sure if everybody else's uh, took that long, but just no. Uh, but here we go, original, Brown sauce, is this the brown sauce? HP sauce. And I was told about this, that it's good for uh, many things. And putting them on french fries is something good to, to do, I believe. Um, so I'm definitely going to want to try this. I'm excited for the HP sauce, for sure. Uh, okay, I think that's all of them. No. Aunt Bessie's golden and oh, here we go, golden and delicious Yorkshire pudding mix. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do a video of me making this. I am not a cook at all. My wife barbecues because she's amazing, and I'm not. So she does all the cooking, and I, I'm not very good at. Uh, putting things together and I can make stuff like eggs 
That's about it. Very cool. And I do believe that's the end of food. Now we're moving on to other things. Um, let's see here. Oh, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, measuring tub, or as we call it, a cup, measuring cup. Very cool with the spout. That's, that's ideal. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking after me. I appreciate that. All right, Leo. Oh, with catnip. Another cat toy with catnip. Right here in the... This is, this is like drugs to cats. At least my cats. They will, they will steal from you if they're on this stuff. You got to watch it. That's amazing. I am so cool. Uh, this is going to be fun getting them to play with that. I love seeing them all hopped up on there. On catnip. That's really cool. Oh, of course. They love little balls. Um, the problem is, is we have a lot of low furniture, like couches that are up. Just enough, this ball will go. It'll be, they'll play with it for like two seconds and they'll knock it under the couch and they won't be able to get it. But they're going to love it. Okay. Oh, wow. From the Imperial War Museum, will eat again. Can you see that? That is so cool. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, this is a collection of recipes from the war years. Okay. Selected by Marguerite Patton, OBE. Uh-oh. Something just fell out. Hold on. This fell out. What is this? Is this a clipping? Oh, look at that. So it's from a newspaper. Um, wow. So it's, it's a clipping from the newspaper and it's basically telling you, um, Interesting. Uh, it kind of gives you a uh, an idea of what what you're making in the morning and, and how to do the rationing and how to spend a weekly list of the food here. And, and then it even gives you down here some uh, uh, recipes. Pretty cool. For Woolton pie, quick soup, and corned beef hash. Wow, that is so cool. Oh man, look at look at these old photos too. This is so neat. I'm I don't want to spend the video of me just going through this book, but man, this looks cool. Yeah, so it gives you a bunch of uh, the recipes and and everything. <laughs> what a cool book. Wow, that is cool. And and with this newspaper clipping, that is incredible. Thank you so much. And this is still from Lynn, by the way. This box is uh, just wild here. Um, uh, this is going up on my shelf for sure. Um, this must be the RNLI Lifeboat magazine that they do. But look at that. That's cool. What a great photo. What an absolute great photo. Is this an order form? <laughs> Is this an order form here? It looks like, yes. Oh no, it's just, it's a donation. Oh, so I can donate to them. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Lynn. What a great idea. What a great idea. Yes. And of course, another, oh wow, look at that. That is so cool. 70 years, 170 years, excuse me. So cool. Look at that. Huh. I'm going to... Uh, man. Lynn and all of you. It's just... You guys are truly amazing. Um, did, of course, if I get a, a pudding mix, what am I going to make it in? Here we go. 
it is my own. Now, I might be the only one in my, in my circle of friends, right, to have a Yorkshire pudding tray. I'm pretty stoked about this. This is cool. Thank you so much. Coming down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> British and American English, of course, dictionary, American to British, translating English to English. This is brilliant. This is so brilliant. So, <laughs> so just to give you an idea of what the book says, look at that. <laughs> that is so great. This is this will be a fun book, and I'll probably use that. That's the funny thing is I'll probably use that. And uh, and then she sent me a card, and it gives me some tips on uh, how to uh, make the tea. Oh, uh, don't use a microwave, she says. Okay, and it tastes disgusting. I will definitely take that to heart. Um, and yeah, this is awesome. Uh, thank you so much to all of you, uh, Lynn, Lynn, and Coot. Uh, you guys um, make me happy. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. That was very, very cool. I just uh, when I started this channel, I didn't was never expecting gifts. I just wanted to learn about all of you and where you live and and one thing I have learned is uh, how kind you are so and I'm starting to get a little emotional and I'm gonna definitely edit that out um, I love all of you thank you so much and I hope everybody's happy healthy and safe and uh, see you later happy Easter bye Mark from the States Mark from the States it's Mark yeah.